we're actually just outside of that electrical room we're just, that was just in here. And this is a setup for one of the electric vehicle panels. So the voltage is, uh, in this particular building, 600 volts, so 600 volts out here, through to a transformer, and to this panel over here. So this panel can, can serve, uh, depending on, uh, for this sizing, that panel can probably serve with power sharing. Uh, about 18 uh, vehicles. We have live data about how these vehicles are, are consuming that energy. So we can see, uh, could we squeeze a bit more into here? Do we need to take it from another panel? The location of these panels is really important. We have uh, only a certain distance. Once we drop that voltage down to 208, we only have a certain distance that we can get. At some point we have what's called voltage drop and the wiring has to be would have to be so large that I couldn't go 300 or 400 feet it's, it's just too difficult, to, 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 it wouldn't work. So we try to be central. So if you were to look around the garage, on, in this particular case, you'd see that we picked a fairly central location and that's what the intent was from day one. So that we would, so that all of the cars, and that's what I was really impressed with here at One Bedford, all of the cars and all of the spots can be accommodated. And we're looking at this when we go into other garages as well. They have uh, one, two, three, five panels here, um, but, uh, sometimes we can manage it with one or two if they're central if it's not too big sometimes the reality is we need three or four because it's stretching out so far and of course these things add to the expense of, of, of what's what's needed I am finding now that when I'm going to look for money for these panels I would say a year ago nobody wanted to pay for anything they, no this is somebody else's problem problem they called it and I'm not necessarily finding that anymore. They seem to be much more accepted that this piece somehow is something that they feel is an advantage and an amenity, the same way that one Bedford did. Are you finding kind of the same thing? Yes, I think the key too was calling it an amenity uh, because I think boards are used to that particular word and with the advent of the Model 3 and all the press around that, just the numbers of EVs that are being sold, that has resonated with boards. They've now equated this with an amenity, a feature to which they could use perhaps to increase their property value. The locations of these panels, this is something you need a bit of expertise on. Um, it took me quite a while to get the hang of where they can go. If you'd looked in that electrical room, I'm pretty sure that we simply couldn't have put even this inside that electrical room. That's a pretty big electrical room. I'm telling you there's no space. This needs a meter in front of it. That needs a meter in front of it by, by code. And it needs to be protected. In this, in this case here, this is protected back behind this pillar. If it's not, if it's liable to damage, we might have to put a, a bollard here. The other thing is, am I infringing in somebody's space? Uh, we, we had an, uh, one I looked at, we're just doing, uh, just one in Yorkville now. And there was a perfect little spot. It was kind of this person parked in here and that person parked here. And there was kind of a little dead zone over here. And I said, let's put it right here. And they go, no, you know what? Uh, I'm not sure who this piece of property here belongs to. Let's find another location. So we have to be sensitive to the needs of the, of the residents and that what we're doing is going to work both for the Electrical Safety Authority and Central. And so there's a lot of little things to think about. So just to give you a feel for what I'm thinking about when I walk through. If anything's difficult, sometimes the garages are literally so large that I can't stand somewhere and see this end, this end, this end, and this end, and that makes it hard. Sometimes they're just so big, uh, I, you might actually need some kind of drawing and, and a layout from an engineer. So all these things are possible. If that's what we need to do, then, then we could do that.